so anyone that's been to Jamaica knows that there's a an abundance of the local weed. Weed. It's like one of those urban legends, but it turns out to be true that everybody buys weed there. It's so inexpensive. You get a ton of it for almost, you know, like $10. Mm-hmm. But you can't take it out of the country, so everyone leaves it. Sure. So I bought a little bit of it for I bought a I bought a huge amount of it, I should say, for ten dollars. Like a couple of big stocks. I rolled a joint and I thought, okay, I want to hide the weed. And I go, there was a, a dresser, like mm-hmm. you uh, not a dresser, but um a bureau where you can hang your clothes. Yeah. And so I go to put this little bag of weed I bought above the bureau <laughs> and I reach in there. <laughs> There's like four giant bags of weed oh, that people had left. <laughs> Joints were rolled, papers. Yeah. Like it was more than you just could smoke in your lifetime. And believe me, I tried. So um, we go to the, and, and we ate in local restaurants. And these aren't restaurants. They're like shacks by the side of the road. I'm telling you, Freddie, I had the best jerk chicken from a barrel on the mm-hmm. side of this road. The guy didn't even have plates. He was serving the, the chicken in tin foil. Saran- tin foil. Yeah. Like he made a tin foil plate. We're like, yeah. it, it, unbelievable. So we go to this breakfast place. I'm having ackee and salt fish, mm-hmm. which is their local breakfast. And uh, the guy serving us only has the one arm. And his mm-hmm. name is Gus. Mm-hmm. Um, and Gus says to me, like every other person, hey, man, you got some smoke? Mm-hmm. I said, yeah. I'm, this is like the second mm-hmm. day, and I'm high as... I'm so high, I couldn't... I'm, I, although I find the weed, they're very manageable. Like, oh. It's like you can, you can have a conversation, mm-hmm. or you can have a nap. Either way. So he's talking to me. He said, hey, man, you got some smoke? I said, yeah, man, I, I got tons. And I, again, not thinking, I go, I've got like a, a baby's arm <laughs> worth of it. Mm-hmm. Trying to describe how much it was. Mm-hmm. And he goes, okay, no problem, man. And he walks away. Amanda goes, really? An arm reference? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I go, what? She goes, yeah, you, you just said you've got like an arm's worth of yeah. weed. To a guy that has no fucking arm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, was, I don't know. I was like, oh, man. So, I'm sorry, Gus. <laughs> like, what did Gus say? Oh, so you only have a little nub. <laughs> That's what Gus mm-hmm. said. Nothing. <laughs> Gus, man. I just was like, oh, I'm just insulted Gus. Did you ask him how he lost his arm? I did not. Oh, okay. Because no. that's usually a valid question. It's a great question. I noticed you don't have an arm. What happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but after I'd insulted him, I yeah. couldn't come back from that.